How's it going everyone? Kim Black Youth here. So we've had this position patch for what seems like a very long time. I think a lot of people are used to it, which is the perfect time to now play some more Gwent. And I'm happy to announce what I think the worst card in the game is right now. And I'm also happy to put it as a god in my pantheon of Gwent. So the pantheon is where we worship one particular card until it becomes godlike. The first one being the Vran Warrior, which was godlike on the 4th of February 2017. Second one was the Wild Boar of the Sea, has Saw Change, which, although not to my liking, because it's a little boring, it is undeniably godlike in the Axeman deck, and it's great wounding, you know, it's got a lot of flexibility. So that became godlike on the 24th of March. And our card that we have now put into our Pantheon, as hopefully the next card to see a bit of renovation, is Skjall. So Skjall, also known as Craven, has his own temple now in the Temple of the Craven. And we'll be worshipping this card until he gets improved. Hopefully not in a 3-2-1 damage sort of way. Although that's pretty good for a silver because it's better than Mighty Bracker. But this is where I pose a challenge to you. I want you to play Skjall in any way that you see fit and get the most value out of him. Now this can be outside the box as much as you want. Try and think outside the box. The more interesting it is, the better it is. Record that and send the clips to me. You can send it in any way you want, put it on YouTube and just link it me, or you can send your video clips to kingbusinesstooth at gmail.com. I'll collect the clips and the winners will receive a prize and I'll be able to put a compilation of the best Skjall clips on YouTube in the future. Okay, so that's the challenge for you. Play Skjall in the most interesting way you can and we'll see what comes about. So I look forward to seeing what people can do with this. Now I'm going to go over what Skjall does because a lot of people don't know <laughs> in Gwent database he's only put in 0.36% of decks. 0.36? That's none. It might just be me doing that or one person accidentally put him in the deck and saved it. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about what Skjall is good for, what he's bad for, what the problems are with him. It might give you some ideas on how to think outside the box and how to use him in an interesting way to win this little competition. So Skjall is a Skelliger only card. Three strength and he's agile which is nice for Craven. Lose two strength at the start of your turns. When removed from the battlefield, he spawns Craven Revived on the same row. Okay, so he sort of slowly kills himself. Now, Craven Revived is also a silver card, four strength. Add two strength to any non gold unit appearing on the row and banish when he's moved to the graveyard. So, the problems first. He takes some time to get going, okay? He's going to take at least two turns for him to kill himself unless the opponent does something about it. It gives them time to lock him. You know, so he doesn't spawn Craven Revived at all. If you're fighting against an Axeman deck, you're going to help them because you're wounding your own units. Now, I feel like Skjall is a bit of a remnant of when Axemen used to get buffed by their own wounding. There's no synergy whatsoever with wounding your own units like this. You could Warcry him up to two strength. <laughs> Way! <laughs> but, you know... I feel like he's definitely a remnant of that, and if you're fighting against an Axeman deck, you're just helping them out. So he's just not good in that sense. Craven Revived, add two strength to any non-gold unit appearing on the row. So, I mean, you might have, like, Queen's Guard on the melee row, you might have loads of Priestesses and Shieldsmiths and stuff like that on the Siege row, but it's just an inherently worse Dandelion, basically. So, Dandelion is five strength, so he's immune, well, he's, he's not going to be killed by things like Manticore Venom, whereas Craven Revived can be. And Dandelion pluses two to everything that appears on your side of the board, apart from um, spawned units, okay? Craven Revived does do spawned units. So, whereas Dandelion won't work with poor infantry that are spawned, Craven Revived would, but Skelliger don't have any spawned units. You might be able to get some neutrals, like Field Marshal Duda from Zoltan Animal Tamer to get plus two, but yeah, it's not really. But these are things that you've got to be thinking about, okay? Try and utilize them in a good way. Now, one positive for Skjall is that you can have multiple Craven Revives. You could put Skjall down, you could decoy him to get a Craven Revived, you could kill him to get another Craven Revived, you could medic him and kill him again to get a third Craven Revived. You know, so these are interesting things. But, um, be aware, when you decoy him, he's going to be 6 to 8 strength, which means he's going to take about 4 turns to die, which is like half a hand. So, it's just it's just not good. He takes too long. The benefit would be that, I guess, 
if he's three strength, you can wait for the round transition and then get Craven revived at the beginning of next round. But it's just it's just not viable. Drake Bondu is just a clearly better card, more consistent. You just buff via base strength of stuff in the graveyard, and you're guaranteed decent value with this, where this can be locked, whereas Drake Bondu can't, for example. So, yeah. What do you think? It's, it's going to be difficult. I don't know what they could do to change it. We thought maybe add to base strength would be okay. Still wouldn't be so much, I don't think. I think they're just going to have to rethink what's going on, you know? Um, if he was disloyal, you know, that would work for your Axeman deck, and then you get that loyally on your side, maybe, you know? So... Thanks for watching this video. I hope you I cleared up um, some stuff about Skull. I hope to see people entering that competition, playing Skull in the most interesting way they can think of. But until the future, thanks for thanks for watching, and um, all praise the Temple of the Craven. Cheers, guys.